Lozzy Bear. Oh, all right, viewers. Woo woo! We're going we, on an adventure. We are a very exciting adventure to pick up a boat. Yeah, literally. A, boat. <laughs> a massive red boat. <laughs> so yeah, today is the day, guys. The JZX actually arrived about four or five days ago. It's now being cleared through the port. This is the second video in the instalment. As promised, I said I was going to show you guys how to import a Japanese car. You've already seen the first video. This is the second one. I'm now going to cut to my spare bedroom and I will show you how the car got here. Right, we're not actually in my spare bedroom as you can see. We're actually at wonderful cast performance. Obviously, I'm a massive advocator of power vehicles. I've been using Andy for the last 10 years. I've bought probably about 10 cars off him in that time. Never had any problems. He's very transparent with the prices. A lot of you are probably a little bit scared about sending someone abroad your money and getting sent a car. Specifically, Andy does mainly concentrate on drift cars obviously being at a bc isn't a, isn't a prime place to do so but he can obviously source you any other car whether you want a street car or a track car or a drift car or a luxury car whatever you want and he's your man first thing you obviously do is get your web browser up type in power vehicles come up on google so that's the first one click on that if you want to see what cars he's got in stock simply click on showroom so you've got a wide body e36 m3 ford raptor Crazy looking GS430 Lexus, C33 Laurel, pretty cool. This is just a brief insight into what he physically has in stock. If you look to the right here, it says new stock coming soon. I'll show you, I'll show you that in a little second. Say so you are interested in this C33 Laurel wide body. I am, it looks pretty sick. Um, once you click on the car, he gives you a full rundown of the modifications and the spec, and he also gives you a full list of observations. So that's any sort of uh, not discrepancies or any sort of small issues he's found. He's very honest, very transparent. He'll write everything down and sort of tell you before you buy the car. You'll see up here, you can click on pictures. So you click for full gallery, it takes you to their Facebook page. So yeah, you guys can see here, he gives you a huge amount of pictures. You've got engine bay shots, wheels, exterior, um, underneath the chassis, exhaust, chassis numbers, chassis plates, tires. Literally everything. Oh, bonjour. Hello. Welcome to my exporting video. Bonjour. <laughs> as well as all the pictures, and he also does a video. If it's a drift car, he'll actually take the car out onto a little uh, track at Abisu and show you a video of the car drifting. probably wondering with the prices how does it work I mean to give you an idea Andy quotes the prices in FOB which means freight on board so that's the car paid for on the ship ready to go to England so just to give you guys an idea if you're buying a car for 1 million yen FOB I'll give you a rough idea of what it's going to cost landed in the UK so 1 million yen in Great British pounds obviously the currencies do fluctuate from day to day this gives you guys a rough idea um, so 1 million yen is 7,000 pounds so if you buy a car for 1 million yen off Andy, it'll cost you 7,000 pounds to get the car 
on the boat ready to go. On average, you pay about 30% on top of the FOB price to get the car here landing on the road. So if the car costs 1 million yen, which is 7,000 UK pounds, 30% of 7,000 is 2,100. Um, so add 7,000 to 2,100, yeah, 9,100 pounds. So if you buy a car from Andy for 1 million yen FOB, roughly 7,000 pounds UK, it will cost you about 9,100 pounds, fully landed, customs and duty paid, on the road, ready to go. It's really easy to send Andy the money. All you have to do is a basic international bank transfer. And then when you send the money, the bank will actually work out the currency exchange for that day. So obviously it will fluctuate from day to day. Once Andy's received the payment, he'll get the car ready for shipping. You'll quite often see the cars are all raised up because when these low cars go on the boats, there's quite sort of big ramp angles and they don't want the cars to get damaged. So that's why you see the suspension always raised up on the cars. It roughly takes about six weeks to come. It took me eight weeks because unfortunately we missed the very first boat. But we managed to get it on the next boat after that. So it took about eight weeks of my car to come. Once the car is on the boat, it's pretty cool. You can actually track the boat online. So just go to Google, type in ship tracking. You'll see the very first one comes up, which is marine traffic. Click on that. As you can see, there's a huge amount of boats. I mean, at any one time, there's probably like 30,000 boats traveling around the world. But yeah, once you've located your ship on marine traffic, simply click on route forecast. This one's currently, oh, it's near the States this time. About a week before the car arrives, a shipping agent, I actually use a company called Wainwright Brothers in Southampton. They're a recommended shipping agent that I like to use. Um, they will actually contact you via email. Obviously, Andy will give, you, give them all the contact details to contact you. They will simply email you and ask you for an invoice and for the export certificate, which Andy would have already sent to you. You literally, for those items, they work out the, um, the VAT and the customs charge that you need to pay. This is the 30% I was talking about earlier. They'll send you an invoice with a small fee to obviously cover their clearing costs. The shipping company release the car from the docks and then once it gets there you can go and pick it up and do a dug it. Just a little side note, when the car actually arrives you're not physically allowed to drive the car out of the port anymore. A lot of people used to stick tray plates in the cars and drive them out. It's completely illegal now. The port will only let you take the car out on a trailer. So use someone like Loz or a, a recommended transport company. Once the car's back you can start doing all your basic like servicing. Uh, MOT, getting the car ready for registering. I will run through that in a later video. So we'll jump back to Loz's truck. You join us back in wonderful M25 traffic. Hope you guys like that little importing insight. It's really, really simple. Hopefully you got the gist of it from that video. Don't forget to follow Lozzy down here. Excellent transporter. Really, really excited about today. Obviously this car is absolutely mental. We haven't had some six cylinder 1.5 Jay-Z goodness on the channel for quite a while. Not since I had my green chaser and he didn't really see a huge amount of that this car i'm definitely going to keep for a while i'm not actually sure if this car is physically going to fit on my trailer that's why i got lost today because he's got a really really wide trailer and i love him of course my s15 is obviously running a lot of camber and it's pretty pretty wide over stock and it does fit quite comfortably this jzx though is massively wide it's got 10.5 inch rims on the front and 265 tires on the front over the next few weeks i'm going to be concentrating on registering and mot in the car i'm going to be doing a full video number three to show you guys that process as well so don't worry you've got all that to look forward to anyway that is enough rabbiting laws and i are going to be down in southampton in about one hour's time so we look forward to seeing you guys down there very soon <laughs> there safe travels as always excellent excellent transport driver as you guys can tell we are at the seaside or we're not at the seaside we're at the docks southampton docks we're not actually really meant to film in here so we're going to leave the camera in here lozzy and i are just going to shoot up to the clearing agent now get the paperwork and we'll see you guys down here very shortly yeah we just popped into uh into wainwright they said the car's over this side so lozzy and i are just heading over the other side of the docks 
everything is all sorted. The car's all been cleared. We just about made it in time. We literally had five minutes to spare. Like I said, not really meant to film, but look at some of the sick cars here. Loads of sort of Rolls Royces, Jaguars. What's this little thing? Oh, look, a little Lancia, that's cool. Old school Lancia. Oh, I just heard my car start up. Sick. All of these Range Rovers, Jaguars, Aston Martins, they're all due for export, so due out to other countries any point now. looking absolutely sick massive massive thanks to handy power vehicles absolute legend for sorting this out massive massive kudos Loz is just gonna get the car nice and straight and get her on the trailer Lozzy Bear and I have now, gosh, she's fucking loud, man. We've loaded up the JZX 100, all good. All the harnesses, all the straps are all on. And we're now gonna jump in the car and start heading out of here. Are you ready? Let's go to Mexico. Woo woo. This is actually the lad that works down in the port. I must admit, it sounds pretty sick, this ST, to be fair. Very nice for an ST. Yeah, 320 horsepower, so certainly uh, pretty fruity. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, Loz and I have come on a Friday evening during rush hour, so a little bit busy, but we got we got good company, haven't we, Loz? Yeah, I got Monkey London. We Loz and I are now going to hit the road, relax, and we'll see you in Coventry in a bit. One thing I will say is when I'm driving around with the S15 or now the uh, Power Vehicles Mark II on the back, we are getting noticed. We just saw a guy in a Passat, very friendly, wasn't he? Yeah, oh, he's a lovely old chap. Giving he's us the way. thumbs up. Cool, what a mission. Loz and I have, we've queued. We, had, we did have a Maccas on the way though. Dude, that was quite nice. Yeah, cheeky little Maccas. We're about five minutes away now from, from Dave's. Good old Garage 21. Really stoked to show me old Muck and Mr. Dave. Here we are at world famous Garage 21. Make sure to give Dave a cheeky little follow as always. D1SL S15, very nom. New Monkey E30, also very cool. Over here, one stunning 
Mark 2. The one thing I have noticed is it's still got stock brakes in it. Well, they look pretty stock to me. Um, not sure on the rears. I think they're stock as well. Maybe, yeah, different discs and pads. But I'm pretty sure they're standard. So, first things first, lower it and get some decent brakes on it. Because if I take this to a track day, let's face it, it's going to last one lap and it's going to over overcook the brakes. Andy at Power Vehicles has built this predominantly to be a drift car, but I'm going to try and make it sort of best of best of both worlds so we can have a bit of fun on track and, and on drift days. This is what I was saying with Loz's trailer, it's got little, tiny little 10 inch wheels, which means obviously the trailer sits further to the ground, which makes it much easier getting, uh, getting super low cars. Obviously this car looks like it's about to be entered into Monster Jam, but like I said, it's got to be raised to get off the ship. That will all be sorted out. G21, what are you saying? Have you done your makeup? Poor Dave, man. I always harass him with a camera. Oh, look at the red boat. Very sick. The other thing I forgot to mention to you guys as well, if you look under there, it doesn't have a boot floor at the moment. Dave is going to weld me like a sort of alley panel across there so we can kind of put a floor back into it. Are you ready for like 600 horsepower smoky nuggets? Dave's located the battery, conveniently uh, placed in the back. And there we go, one Mark II safely delivered into trusty old G21. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that cheeky little episode. There's going to be a huge amount of duggets coming up on the channel with the old JZX100, so make sure you stay tuned for that. As always, give us a like, put any comments down below, I'll do my best to get back to you, and we will see you soon. Sick.